Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, I'm Caitlin. I thought it'd be really fun to bring you guys with us to Arizona for this weekend. We are going from Thursday to Sunday, so a really quick trip, but I feel like it'll be super, super fun because it's Easter, and yeah, we're road tripping. We're obviously bringing Coco. We always bring Coco when we go home to Arizona. My parents also just recently moved, so that's really exciting, and Hunter's working right now, so we're about to leave probably in the next like 20 minutes. It's a six and a half hour drive. And like I said, we're bringing Coco. So we always drive. And honestly, I love driving. I just don't really mind that at all. We will probably stop and get some in and out. And honestly, I've just spent the past two hours cleaning up around the house because we just really like it when our house is nice to come home to, as I'm sure most of you guys feel that way. But before we start today's video, I do want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video. If you've been looking for a company that helps you put all of your links in one central spot, then you guys have to check out Pork Bun. If you're someone who posts online for social media, whether that's for yourself or for your business, not only does it make it super, super easy for all of your consumers to go to all of your links in one spot, but you also can choose the designs. You can actually choose the themes. What's also really, really cool is that you can also get a .bio domain rather than having just a really long domain that's really hard to remember. And it's actually only $5 for the entire year if you guys use my code. The code is going to be biobundle23. And like I said, it's only $5 for the entire year. So you guys can click the link in the description box and you'll get the .bio domain and your link in bio bundle for only $5 for the year from Pork Bun. It will also come with free SSL certificate and who is privacy. The list goes on to guys have to check them out and again it's only five dollars for your first year so thank you pork bun for sponsoring today's video and i will probably see you guys in the car good morning you guys it's the next morning i just woke up at my parents and i'm sorry my voice kind of feels like it's like going away i think that i get allergies when i come to arizona because every time i come home i lose my voice and I thought it was just because we socialize so much more here, but I genuinely think it just has to do with the dust in the air and it takes some getting used to, especially coming from California where it's like very humid. But I literally just woke up. It is like 7.15. I'm gonna go to my best friend's house actually and we're gonna record for my podcast. If you guys listen to the podcast, I actually recorded an episode with her around Christmas time and then we realized that the mics weren't plugged in like when I got home. So I lost that episode and I was so sad about it. So I'm really excited that we get to have that today. Um, yeah, it's gonna be really good. It's gonna be all about corporate life, but still trying to add routine on top of that because she works a nine to five job, but she's really into fitness and pretty much everything that I'm into as well. I mean, she's my best friend, so she's literally like copy paste of me and she also works a nine to five. So I'm really excited about that episode. And then I'm also going to go to the gym after because my family's, I mentioned that my family moved. They have a new neighborhood with a gym and like a pool area. It has a dog park. It's really, really nice. And it's like a full gym. So they have all the equipment and stuff. I'm wearing this set that I actually wore this exact same top yesterday in white, but I didn't get to work out in it. And I really wanted to see how this kind of tube top would hold up during a lift just because I've never worn this before. This is on top from Buff Bunny and then the bottoms that I'm wearing are from Story. It is pretty tight, like on the top. I've noticed this is like really holding me in, but it's probably good so that the top doesn't fall today. So anyway, I'm probably gonna head to Starbucks to pick me and Katie up a drink before we record. And then I'll bring you guys with us for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Is it recording already? Yeah. She's making tea. Because I have like that weird sore throat. Cheers. Cheers. We haven't recorded yet. Mm. Wait, I actually love this This tea. is my favorite tea. Mm. I always forget Do you put honey in it or? No, I just drink it. Me too. I want to show this. Like. This one. It's the best. Okay, I just left Katie's. I didn't have time to get coffee beforehand just because we were trying to rush because she has work today too. So I'm going to Starbucks now and getting some stuff for my family. I have my brother, his girlfriend, me, Hunter, and my mom. So I'm ordering a bunch of Starbucks right now. Grande Passion Tea, no sweetener, scoop of strawberries. That's my mom's order. It's really good if you ever want something that's not coffee. And then we literally all get the brown sugar shake and espresso. So very easy. Could I do a Grande um, passion tea, no water or sweetener okay. with a scoop of strawberries, please. And then lastly, a, um, a cake pop. One more you um, maybe the vanilla one. Perfect. Thank you. 
didn't know what cake pop Susie wanted, so I just got the vanilla one. It's like birthday cake. Who wouldn't want a birthday cake? Cake pop. But the recording went so good with Katie. I'm really excited for you guys to listen. This will actually already be live by the time you guys watch this. I'm going to try to go edit that and get that up. And then I'm going to go to the gym, like I said. I'll probably film that for TikTok and post a TikTok workout. And then I'm going to house at 2 p.m. just to tour a house. And then later tonight, we're doing a girls' night with me, Katie, and Mackenzie. And we're going to Buck and Rider, which is the best restaurant in Arizona. If you ever are like here for a birthday party or a bachelorette party, please go to Buck and Rider. They have the best fish. And they literally fly in their oysters and their shrimp cocktail. And it's so good. You guys have probably see me go there with Lily and Andy when they're in town. And also on that note, it's so sad being in Arizona when Lily and Andy are gone. If you guys watch their channel too, they are two of my best friends and they just moved to Montana, but we used to always see them when we came home. And this is the first time we've come home where they're, they've been gone. Ah, so sad, but we're actually going to be together soon for her bachelorette party. So I'm excited and I'll get to see her. Uh, yes, please. Yeah. I just finished up at the gym. I couldn't film anything just because there was people and I hate getting people in the background. Like I'll never film if someone's behind me. I would hate that if I was at the gym. So I just want to respect everybody. Plus people are already nervous to go to the gym, I feel like. So adding that layer would just not my thing. But I feel like I filmed a lot of my workouts lately on like TikTok and stuff. So I promise I'll film more like when we get home. But what was I gonna say? Oh, I was gonna say, I usually don't feel like a pressure or anything like that to work out on vacation. I honestly just love to work out. I feel like it puts me in a really good mindset and also with traveling, usually I have like pre-travel anxiety. I don't really feel anxious when I'm on a trip, but I do notice a huge difference with like sleeping at night and stuff when I move my body just because I feel like I tend to not fall asleep very well no matter what, like no matter where I am. And it's definitely a little bit worse on a trip trying to fall asleep just because I'm not in my space. I usually don't do like my nighttime routine or something like that. So I feel like fitness is like that one thing that really, really helps me on a trip, very much a staple for me. So I'm gonna go home, take a shower. Okay, it's a little bit later. I actually just got dressed for dinner, so it's much later. But I'm about to do my makeup and I'm gonna listen back to the podcast episode I just recorded pretty much after I got my family some Starbucks. We just hung out all day and then we, kind of split up. I did some work. Hunter went and met up with his friends. He's going to be gone for the night, so it's going to be a girls' night tonight with Katie, Mackenzie, and Lexi. They're actually on their way here right now. I'm just going to get ready because we're kind of running late. We're going to go to happy hour, and then the rest of the night, we'll probably meet up with the boys because the boys are having like a, a guy's day today, and then like tonight, they're going to go to this bar called Doc and Eddie's, which like all of our friends hang out at, so we're going to meet them later tonight, which is going to be really fun, especially because like both Katie's fiance and then Hunter are gonna be there. So it'll just be a fun way to end off the girls' night. 3.15 right now, I'm still drinking my Starbucks. It's 3.15 and we have reservations for 4.15 and they wanna come like see this house. So I just don't know like if we're gonna be able to all get ready and like pick outfits and stuff in time. I think I'm gonna wear this dress. I Like you won't be able to see it. I have the sleeves rolled up, but the sleeves are really pretty and it's like giving bridal era, but I don't know if it's too fancy for what everybody else wants to wear tonight, so we'll see. But yeah, I'll bring you guys with us for girls night and I'm sure that Mackenzie and Katie will be in the next clip. Okay, ready? You gotta really get it in a sauce and then, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> all right, now you, Katie. No. Yes. No. I'll you all my oh. Here, I'm gonna get a really tiny bag. I'm gonna pick that up. You can't really see the bride, but I feel like it's not even that much. Am I the problem? I don't know. I took the juice. No, no, no that's the worst part. The that's the worst part. <laughs> that's the door. Oh my god. My finger. Wait, remember like the first time we all filmed together? Oh, I this did is that. yours. Yeah, and we went to. <laughs> she chucks it at you. Sorry. Like... Right. Well, I didn't want to get like. It's look. I didn't even know okay. that. They're gonna bring me a little bride gift. Can you see it? Bride. <laughs> Oh,
We just picked up Ingo's, which we've actually never tried, but Lily and Andy always tell us to try it, so I'm excited. I got a chicken sandwich, but there's like apple on it, which is interesting. And I like this place. It had like all 100% chicken. These are like potato fries. Yeah, I have to grab a burger. And Coco is like obsessed with what it smells like. I feel like I have not really vlogged a lot this week, just because, or this weekend, just because my voice has been completely gone. And yesterday we honestly just chilled and laid in bed. I watched some YouTube. My family got together. We ordered true food and we literally just hung out. And I feel like I just was like resting my voice because I don't know what happened, but even just, I felt it on our trip in. I felt like I was getting like a frog in my throat. And then we ended up having our girls night the other night. And then us girls met the guys out. And obviously like we socialized a lot. So that's probably why. But yeah, it's just been kind of hectic. I hope I got enough stuff to kind of throw together this video just because I did want to do an Arizona vlog. I'll show you guys my outfit for Easter in a second too in the big mirror. But I just put this on because it's actually so cold. It's been raining all day today. So that's another reason why we've been kind of slow is just it's like such a cozy day. But it honestly feels so, so good to be home. I feel like I don't know how to explain it. I just feel super, super good right now. And obviously Hunter too. And just having a weekend with all our friends and family in Arizona just felt so good. So yeah, I'm happy and excited to just like, I don't know, give some updates in the future. But for now, just so I don't like say anything too soon, we went and got some coffee this morning. It's probably been like, a long time since I've had Starbucks. I used to get Starbucks every day, as you guys know if you watch the vlogs, but I don't go to Starbucks anymore. We pretty much only go get coffee on Saturday mornings and like Sundays, and we go to Parakeet. That's our favorite place in the Orange County area. And Starbucks is really just not that good. I honestly just got an iced coffee with a splash of cream. And like, it tastes good. It's just not like a specialty coffee that you're like excited to go get, at least for me. I like the brown sugar shake and espresso if I want something really sweet. But my like flavor preference of coffee isn't to have something sweet, so Starbucks is not my favorite. But we did get it today. I got a bagel, we just laid in bed like I said. I also slept in my legging curls. I actually wanted to show you guys the legging curler that I use. I've showed it a couple of times, but I'm realizing that this one is so different than the other ones I've seen. I realized it because I was talking to my friend about it this weekend. But this one is specifically for long, thick hair. So it actually curls it bigger. It doesn't like do like the small ringlet curls. So it honestly looks like I gave myself a blowout. And oh, I just love it. I actually went to bed with my hair wet last night and then did it. And the fact that it looks good is actually crazy because I have wavy, very frizzy hair. And I could never go to bed with my hair wet ever before I had this. So if you've been looking for a sign to get this, then I definitely recommend. It's also helped me put way less heat on my hair because I really just touch up the front and I'm good to go. It doesn't last that long if I don't do it overnight, but sometimes when I'm getting ready, I'll put this in for like an hour and it'll last up to like two hours if I do that. But let me show you guys my outfit for Easter today. Let me go get my purse. I thought I was vlogging when I got this dress last week, but I don't think I was. I got this in person at Reformation and I think the cherries are so perfect for like a holiday. Just really cute and girly. And then I like how it has the under strap. So it looks like you're wearing like two layers, but it's actually just one. I will link this down below for you guys. It's definitely gonna be in stock. Cause like I said, I got it last week and I just have my black bag. And then I also have on some black sandals just to complete it. And then I have my Vela or Vale sunglasses. I don't know how to say that. I'll also link those. And then honestly, I'm just gonna wear this red jacket because it kind of looks cute and it kind of chills the outfit out. None of my family I dressed up today. I just honestly got this thinking we were gonna do something and we're really not doing anything. My parents have been moving all weekend and today they're giving back their keys of their other house. So you guys know how that is. Like <clears throat> just running around hectic. My mom's like <laughs> at the other house with some cleaners and just trying to get everything situated. So yeah, that's just a little bit of what's been going on this weekend. I feel so happy to be home. I just need to be careful sometimes about one, speaking things too soon because I'm like so all over the place when I want something. When we make decisions for our future, it's pretty like rash, I would say, just because we both work from home. We always have the luxury to make decisions as life goes. And sometimes I like say things way before we even like finalize anything. And then you never know in a week I change my mind. So, 
Yeah, I think I might have actually mentioned a little bit at the beginning. I don't really know. I might have said at the beginning that we were considering moving home. Is it right to just come vacation here a couple of times and have as much fun as we can in those weekends and then go home and have like our home base and our little bubble, which we do have in California where it's really just Hunter and I most of the time and just staying productive and stuff like that. Or do we come home and just see what it would be like for a year and then decide from there if like we want to buy soon, test out living at home after just living in California for two years. Therefore, we'll be able to make a better decision if we want to buy here or in California one day. So once we know some final updates, we talk to our friends in real life and stuff before I like say things on a video. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to end this video off because I don't really think we're going to be doing much. We're just going to have some food and then drive home to California today. And then I'll probably start a week in my life tomorrow because we'll be back and I'm excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in the next vlog.